You did something there, Mario. You did something. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm very excited to get 2023 started in like what I used to do, which is makeup, makeup, makeup. I'm very excited. I'm going to be showing you guys like a quick little demo, first impressions slash wear test on the brand new Makeup by Mario foundation. In this video, you guys are gonna see me demo the foundation, put it on, and see how it wears throughout the day. I mentioned later on in the video, like I have things to do today, so I'm gonna wear it, and I'll show you guys tonight like how it wears on the skin. But when I tell y'all when makeup, I, I was just waiting for him to come out with this foundation because number one, hello, he's Kim K's makeup artist. Her skin just always looks so, so good. So when I found out he was releasing a foundation, you guys know on this channel, I'm a complexion girl all day long i love for my skin to look flawless chef's kiss i apologize in advance if you hear my daughter talking in the background it is now one o'clock and she should have went down for a nap around 12. if you're a mom you already know she's the boss i'm not the boss here she's the boss so i apologize if you guys hear her in the background but bear with me i was so excited to get this video filmed so by any means it was getting filmed okay on the sephora website it does say that this is a natural finish it's hydrating medium coverage obviously a liquid formula and that it is long wearing some of the highlighted ingredients are grapeseed oil vegetable squalene which both provide restoring moisturizing benefits perfecting powders which work with skin's natural textures for a smooth and enhanced finish and I already have the foundation on, so when I tell you that I already am in love, I'm like, you did something there, Mario. You did something. I came to the other side of my room because the lighting in here is like super like in and out because I'm using natural daylight. If you're new here, my name is Jashady. I'm a licensed esthetician, certified lash artist. I love all things beauty, lifestyle, home. I'm a mom. The girls, I get it, get it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around for the rest of today's video. I'm not wasting any time today. I'm going to jump right into the demo. I actually have a hair appointment in a little over an hour. So I wanted to get this filmed for you guys and start off 2023 the right way. And I just wanted to show you guys how sleek and chic this packaging is. It's right up my alley. I really love how minimal it is. It's very simple. Nothing crazy. The shade I picked up is in the shade 9W. And I'm going to be applying this today with a beauty blender. Again, very sleek, very minimal. It's giving clean makeup. And right through the bottom, you can already see that there's like an iridescence to the foundation. So hopefully you can't see that like on the skin. We don't want like a glittery finish, which from what I've seen, it doesn't give that. I'm going to take the foundation on my finger and just apply it to my skin. I have already moisturized, primed and all that jazz i also did my brows i use the new refi beauty i guess it's like a brow pomade kind of thing and i actually really like that on this side of my face this is just one layer of the foundation and I feel like it definitely has a buildable coverage. So I'm going to go in with a little bit extra that's on the back of my hand. But I'm also going to finish blending it out. Before I finish the rest of my makeup, I just wanted to show you guys how even this made my complexion this is just two pumps of the foundation plus like a little half a pump so i went in like one little extra time the foundation definitely has a build you know like a buildable coverage the only thing i didn't do is i just got my nose pierced recently and i didn't want to go near it so if you see like redness coming out that's because i just got that done like four days ago i already am obsessed with how this looks like on the skin the finish is just very even it's almost giving like tinted moisturizer, but you can definitely tell it has the kind of like viscosity of a foundation. It's not thick at all. I have tried so many other foundations that are way thicker than this. So this doesn't feel like anything on the skin. I actually am really enjoying how it's sitting at the moment. I'm going to kind of like fast forward through the rest of my makeup and show you guys how I do that. And then I will pop back on here later on tonight after my appointment to show you guys like how it's holding up. Obviously, I'm getting my hair done. So like 
my edges is gonna be like kind of like washed off but you guys will get to see at least how my t-zone holds up i'm really quick gonna finish up the rest of my makeup because i don't want this to be a super long video but i will show you guys at the end how everything comes together with products that i already use and i will give you guys my final first impression foundation is looking like i'm very very impressed i have not been satisfied with the foundation in so long i think that when i look for foundations i always go with the shade that i think i am versus the shade that i actually am because i give myself so much more color credit than what i have like i'm definitely not giving olive undertone i'm more of a warm neutral ish undertone and what happens is i feel like a lot of people their face is lighter than their body where i'm opposite like my body is real real white and my face because of discoloration and you know like dark spots and stuff when i break out i feel like my skin is always a little bit darker than the rest of my body but baby i'm gonna like come in close so you guys can really see how the foundation is sitting on my skin the 10, building, get your ass an apartment put you inside a g class that's just the start and get plenty things kind of life but none of them is a thought of it new piece around my neck is chess games too shorty stay with calculated moves like beth harman swear i'm on purple ring prince the prince charming Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimist gold medalist left the magnum just so they not collecting my specimens now. The way she would poppy, man, you would think she's a veteran or remembrance. Clean and lady. I have to really quick get myself and my daughter ready. So, like I said, I'm gonna wear the foundation for the rest of the day. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after my appointment. If the sun is still out, which I'm praying that it is, hopefully the sun is out and I'm able to show you guys in like daylight how it still looks. If not, I'll turn my lights on tonight and give you guys like a final like wear how it wore for the day. I'm not doing anything super crazy today. Like I mentioned, I'm just going for my hair appointment and that is about it and we're gonna run because my appointment is like i said in less than an hour so stay tuned i'm back it is 4 41 so i've been wearing the foundation for about four hours i'm obviously gonna wear it probably until like eight or so and i must say it's giving the foundation did not really break up on my skin literally at all maybe a little bit like on my chin area but for me four hours in it's giving nine out of ten ten out of ten more of a satin finish so if you're someone who likes a more matte foundation then this is for you but you're gonna have to set it for sure i don't feel like it has much transfer i did set mine down because i like more of a matte finish that's just that's the kind of girl I am. I'm a matte girl. For once, I feel like I finally found a really good shade of foundation. For a while, I was doing my Mom Glam, which it was quick for me. I was using a Kosas concealer and their contour. And I really liked how that looked too because their concealer for me was basically the same color of my skin. Which, it wasn't giving me like a highlighted under eye, but it was giving me even complected skin tones. I'm hoping to have this video up for you guys tomorrow, which will be January 6th, so... Fingers crossed. I will see you guys again at 8 o'clock for the final check-in.